Hello, my name is Narcis and I will show you now the official procedure for software upgrade through the cable for Samsung smartphones. In this video I am using Galaxy S4 mini model and the procedure is almost the same to all Android models from Samsung. I will go to settings, more, about device to view the current software version which in this model is Android 4.2.2. Before starting the procedure, I recommend to restart the phone. Then I will connect it to the computer via the USB data cable and I will use Samsung Keys application that is already installed on the computer. Pay attention to the Android version that you have before the upgrade. If you have version 4, 3 or higher, then use Keys version 3, otherwise use just Keys. The application will automatically connect to your phone and if you have an older software version like in this case an update window will appear where we can see the phone's current firmware version and the latest available version. Also the procedure is quite safe, it is recommended to have a backup so I will not start the upgrade and I will make a backup first. For this I will go to backup restore menu, select what I want to copy, contacts, messages, logs and so on and then press the backup button. The copy process lasts depending on how many items are in the phone and the data that I selected to copy. So I will fast forward the process to save time. The backup is now complete. I go back to the first tab basic information and press the firmware upgrade button. Then confirm the new version and click next. A window appears with a list of warnings that we must consider before starting the upgrade procedure, like to have the battery fully charged and make a backup. And a list of warnings to pay attention during the procedure, like not to press any buttons on your phone and don't unplug the USB cable until the end. I recommend that you carefully read this list and then hit the update button. Now it comes to download and install the necessary files from the internet and I will fast forward to save time. At this time the upgrade is complete. After you click OK the phone will reboot and it is necessary to disconnect it from the USB cable. After the phone restarts I will reconnect it to the USB cable and Keys application that is version 2.6 will display a message to show that it is no longer compatible with the current version of Android because it goes only up to 4.2 and indicates to use the smart switch application that I will download and install it. After the installation is finished I launch the application and the name of the connected device device appears immediately on the main window, where we can see also that this version of Android is now 442. With this application you can manage your phone data and transfer them like in the Keys application that I will show you next with the note that I installed now and I will use Keys version 3. Here it shows the current firmware version on the phone and the latest version available online for this device. Switching back to the phone, I will go to settings, more, about device section to see the Android version that will be different depending on the phone model. In this case it is 442 in the Samsung Galaxy S4 mini. I will also go to storage section, then applications, accounts and then to task manager. I cannot see any significant changes to the interface because at least in this case KitKat was designed primarily for optimizing the performance and security of the operating system. In other upgrades on other phone models, the interface can show different changes. This was the software upgrade procedure that can be used on most Samsung Android phones. Thanks for watching.